Hey everybody, this is Dr. Kyle with Ice Clinics bringing you your next tip for Tuesday. We've been seeing a lot of patients come into our clinic lately complaining of sinus issues. Um, a lot of that is maybe in combo with the smoke that's been in the air, a lot of the allergens in the air, um, and then, then just some of the uh, immune sensitive stuff that's going on right now as well. So a little reminder for everyone that's watching, we've covered this chart before in the past, but this basically breaks down each one of the vertebrae in our spine the different body parts those vertebrae go to and then possible symptoms patients might have if they have some irritation to that area of their spine now one in particular c2 <clears throat> you can see it goes to a lot of important anatomy in and around our head and the first possible symptom you can see is sinus trouble allergies ear problems earaches lots of stuff that go kind of hand in hand with allergy irritation so one thing to remember is if you start to have chronic sinus issues or a sinus issue that's just not resolving, always remember that there's a common link and component in that neck and in some of the musculoskeletal anatomy around that area. So something a chiropractor would be well-versed in checking out and making sure that this is not being an issue that's leading to a maybe a longer term sinus infection or allergy irritation. Now, one tip that I'll give you guys that are struggling with some of this uh, smoky trouble in your sinus area, a good handy tool to always have is some form of a vibration tool. We happen to be fortunate to have a pure wave in our office that we use for patients with sinus is issues, um, but you can use something as small as like an electric toothbrush that would provide a good stimulus of vibration to the areas of the face. So one thing that you can do that I'll encourage patients to do and that we'll interact with is the frontal sinuses right here above the forehead, just letting some of that vibration shake up on here to kind of loosen up some of the crud that might be in there. You have another two just aside from the nose here that might be a little more sensitive to handle some of that vibration. And then you have a couple here right below the cheekbones that usually do pretty well with some vibration therapy. That's a good way to shake up uh, the sinuses in this part of the head. But remember that the pressure within your ear canal can also play into how well things will drain downwind and into your throat. So remember that the vibration tool, if you were to follow it from the backside of your skull, kind of down along the backside of your ear and even down and through your jaw, you'll stimulate uh, some lymphatic motion in that area and maybe stimulate it to the point that it'll kick on your eustachian tube which will help to drain things downwind as well. The big goal being when we have excessive drainage in our head, trying to get it downwind and kind of cycle through our system a little more. So like I said, this tip is very applicable to everybody out there struggling with sinus or allergy issues. And if you're uh, dealing with a problem that's just not resolving or getting better by its own, make sure you seek out a chiropractor and see if they can help. Again, my name is Dr. Kyle with Ice Clinics. Thanks for watching.